Thursday, Kevin. We are headed to Blankets Creek um, near Woodstock, Georgia. Just north of Atlanta. Blanket Creek's trails are built and maintained by Sorbo Woodstock volunteers. Thanks Sorbo for all your hard work on these amazing trails. The Van Michael Trail offers 3.4 miles of meticulously crafted machine cut trails, delivering a smooth and sweeping ride. While researching the Blankets Creek area, I stumbled upon fascinating information about a nearby gold mine situated west of this trail. Stay tuned to find out more about the history of this hidden treasure. Oh yeah. Dr. Kevorkian passed. This trail is a half mile adrenaline rush of steep exposures, narrow pathways, and challenging climbs. Oh, now I know where that fence is there, son of a bitch. That was a little sketchy, or scary, not really. I guess it was just been crashing into the fence. I'm bad if I didn't feel like I... I was going to go over the edge. This is the Saturday direction. This is a 4.2 mile hand cut trail that has a real backcountry natural feel to it. That's fine. I think my cleat is loose. Yeah, I think my, I almost think my cleat might be loose. I don't know, I guess it's okay. Oh, my bottom racket's loose though. That ain't good. Now that we're back on track after that quick bike fix, let's delve into the fascinating history of the gold mine near Blankage Creek. Yeah. But before we dive into that, it's essential to understand why there's a gold mine in the area. First, we're going to explore the fascinating history of the Georgia Gold Rush and the renowned gold belt that runs through this beautiful region. In the early 19th century, Georgia experienced a significant gold rush that rivaled the famous California Gold Rush. The discovery of gold in 1828 near Dahlonega sparked a frenzy, drawing prospectors from all over the country to seek their fortunes in the Georgia Hills. Oh yeah. 
Now this would be funner going down. <sighs> the Georgia Gold Belt stretches diagonally across the state, encompassing areas such as Cherokee County, where numerous gold mines were established. Cherokee County, nestled in the north-central part of Georgia, played a crucial role in the gold rush era. Its rich deposits attracted thousands of miners, leading to the establishment of towns and settlements. One such area is Blankage Creek, known for its scenic beauty and recreational activities today. But did you know that this tranquil spot was once home to active gold mining operations? In 1996, park ranger Carl Etheridge investigated the Blankage Creek gold mine complex. This mine is also called the Cherokee Mine. It is located near Little River in Cherokee County, Georgia. It wasn't until 1994 when concerns over public safety led to the discussion on closing the mine shaft. Okay, this was black diamond we just were on. This is double black. Okay. So just be careful. Yep. I got a little running head start. Hold on. Narnia! You must first cross through the wardrobe to get to Narnia. You're going to take the Narnia connector to the Narnia loop and then Narnia extension. This is a one directional trail. Um, and when all is said and done, it's about a mile long. This trail starts with some drops, leading to a tight off camber one way loop with significant exposure. After getting to the top, you'll go down some berms before tackling a rock face. That's it. Okay. Oh. Off on the end. No, that's okay. This, the ground's really like soft, and so you're I'm two, and this is pretty tight. And yeah, nope. I don't want to kill myself today. No, I don't. Local folklore states that there is a moonshine still at the end of this trail. This still site could possibly date back to the gold mining days of 1810s or, pro or the prohibition days of the 1920s. Numerous rings from barrels have been found over the years in this site. Unfortunately, my battery died before I finished this trail. Hopefully we'll get back so I can record the entire trail. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.